Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix DXGI device hung error 0x887A0006 in your Windows whenever you're trying to launch any games in your computer. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would strongly suggest you to do is to modify the registry settings for the graphics driver. To do this, you will have to open registry key by doing a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type reg edit in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen in case if your registry key is in expanded mode make sure you go ahead and collapse the registry key by clicking on this arrow so that the registry has been displayed in this order and at the same time i would strongly suggest you to follow the steps correctly so in case if you make incorrect registry changes there are chances that your computer may not work work properly now once you have the registry key in this order all you have to do is you will have to go ahead and expand hk local machine under hk local machine you will have to go ahead and expand system under system go ahead and locate for current control set under current control set you will have to go ahead and expand control under control you would see the registry which says graphic drivers once you have selected graphic drivers on the right hand side locate if you could find tdr delay in case if you don't find the registry tdr delay you will have to go ahead and create one by doing a right click and then click on new and choose the value as dword 32 bit value update the name as tdr delay with t and d in uppercase and hit enter once you have created or name this registry you will have to do a right click and then click on modify and make sure the value has been set to zero in case if you have this registry key do a right click modify and make sure the value has been set to zero once you do this click on ok close registry editor restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step to resolve this issue is to make sure power management mode in your nvidia control panel is been set to maximum performance to do this you will have to open nvidia control panel on your computer once you have nvidia control panel go ahead and select manage 3d settings click on it now on the right hand side make sure the options for power management mode is being set to prefer maximum performance click on apply and then restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step is to go ahead and turn off the anti-aliasing in nvidia control panel to do this you will have to open nvidia control panel on your computer once you have nvidia control panel go ahead and select manage 3d settings and then on the right hand side locate for anti-aliasing mode once you have selected anti-aliasing mode from the list go ahead and choose the option as off so basically what you're doing here is you're turning off the anti-aliasing mode once this is done you may click on apply and then close nvidia control panel restart your computer and then check if you are able to launch games on your computer now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and update your graphic card driver to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on the device manager in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the device manager open you will have to go ahead and locate for display driver to update the display driver you will have to do a right click on the default graphic card driver and then click on update driver choose the option which says search automatically for drivers and then click on close and repeat the same step in case if you have an additional graphic card driver installed on the computer do a right click update driver search automatically for drivers and then click on close restart your computer and then try to launch the application and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next method to resolve this issue is to run the sfc scan on your computer basically what this will do is this will go ahead and try to repair any files by itself by running this tool to do this you will have to open command prompt now in the search window you will have to type cmd once you see the best match for the command prompt you can do a right click and then click on run as administrator 
In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to go ahead and type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. Wait until the verification is being 100% complete. Once this is done, you may go ahead and close the command prompt, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. Now, in spite of trying all this step, if you're still facing a problem, the last step what you could do is update your windows as you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings on the left hand side, click on windows update. Now you can go ahead and check if there are any updates to be installed on the computer. Go ahead and click on check for the updates. So this will try to go ahead and check if there are any updates to be installed. In case if there are any updates to be installed, wait until checking for update is complete. And at the same time, what you could also do is you can go ahead and click on advanced option and then locate for optional updates and see if there are any optional updates available to be installed. In my case, there is one. So in case if you have one, you it would be listed under this section. Go ahead and check this option, which says if there are any updates to be installed, click on download and install, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. Now all this step should definitely resolve this issue. In spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.